Now let, let's con, um, continue to create second super sprite. Go to create panel, particle, particle system, and uh, super sprite. Just click and drag a sprite anywhere, and um, so let's unhide hide, uh, other stuff. <clears throat> so we'll focus on this super spray. Okay, increase the spray to about 20, 30, 20 or 30 degree, <coughs> and uh, uh, create a wine. Create a force wine. Rotate it and uh, bind this second super sprite to the Y. Okay. <coughs> now um, you have to maybe decrease the Y strength, increase the turbulence. Okay. Uh, so let's con add another afterburn effect. Afterburn. This time, pick up the second super sprite and uh, turn on the sh this button. This will show our super sprite particle in the viewport. And obviously, you have to increase the size of it. And uh, please turn on the AFC enable, so uh, the particle will change its size uh, with particle H. So obviously the particle number is not enough for the smoke, so. Um, you can increase the user rate number to about 50 and um, play around this size higher value. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, please change the red blending type to found rain. Ray Marcher to Octane Shader. Uh, this shader is uh, much more uh, efficient and uh, more good for mimic uh, this this kind of a smoke. And uh, under the noise type parameter, change the type from turbulence to fractal. You can hit this button to um, preview it if you like. So uh, let's make a preview. Let's make a test render to see uh, the effect. Okay, obviously it looks um, much too bright. So we can play around the density of our, our particle. Please enable enable the AFC of this noise animation parameter density. And uh, let's make another test render to see it. And uh, still too high. Let's decrease. Let's change the low value to one, high value to point five, and uh, render again. Yep, yeah, it's much much better. Again, you had to play around with those parameter. <coughs> And uh, let's unhide all. We are almost finished. So um, select the second super spray particle and um, go to Afterburn uh, Environment Setup. Select the source light. Select the um, spotlight we 
I've already created and uh, let's run it again as you can see you see uh, um, this this area here show a uh, gray color that's, that is because um, because our target spotlight is too close too close to the particle so the, the light cone does not cover all the particle so let's move it far away this will fix the the problem okay so okay I think this is good enough mm. let's turn on both um, particle and uh, see what we have here so um, you can lower down the value of the spotlight from 1 to about 0.7 so there will this will be not too too bright Okay, I think this is good enough. Next step is to create a um, this 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 kind of small uh, debris uh, by using particle flow. So I'll turn off an entire inactivate at the burn after burn. Okay, so. Now we are going to create a particle system P particle flow source uh, clear and dry in the top view port and uh, oops this will automatically create a particle and uh, Now go to particle flow view. Pop out the particle flow, and uh, now let's change the uh, bus amount to about forty. Start from about ten, and uh, play. That's unhigh or unhigh and the high select unselected focus on our particle flow. Okay, and uh, select the shape to change it to a cube and the display to uh, geometry. So now we turn, we will see. Um, all this small cube falling from the sky to mimic the debris so uh, if you like you can in increase the speed okay uh, now let's add a force to our particle here and add by list. I guess you have to unhide all and add by add gravity. And play again. 
now our queue falling with higher speed. The next thing to do is create a uh, collision spawn and uh, please select a deflector and uh, no, we'll create an, another deflector because we want the debris to bounce more so uh, deflector we create a second deflector <coughs> For our thinking particle, and uh, please add a deflector too. And now change the upstream to five, and uh, create a yes. Copy the sh shape and paste here and change the display to geometry and connect those collision spawn to this second event let's play it again Please select the deflector too because the set the bounce number to too high. So let's decrease it to about 0.1 or 0.05. Okay. too high uh, no. um, add a force to the second event copy and paste so now <coughs> when the particle hit the deflector When the particle hit the deflector, and you will um, continue um, by the gravity. <coughs> so finally, we create a collision to the second event, and select the deflector two. Now, as you can see, when the particle hit the ground, it will us uh, create a fine number of the upstream, final five upstream of the parent Q. Uh, let's um, decrease the size of the the upstream Q to about five. Okay. So uh, this is about right, and uh, let's unhide all, and you can move the, the particle flow to the middle. To the middle of the building. Okay. Let's play again. Okay. So now uh, we have finished our um, this um, building demolition um, scene. Um, we create a thinking particle and. Uh, 
two super spray to mimic the dust and the smoke and finally we create a particle flow to mimic the uh, building debris um, I will put all the um, parameter on my blogger site please check out my CG Town, CG Town video tutorial <coughs> so thank you for watching this video tutorial